So here we are at our hotel, Hotel Poverot, in the little skiing community of Cheget. It's in a bit of a pine grove. Uh, we had terrible weather yesterday, but today it's nice clear blue skies, so I can see some snow up there, so we might get a good view of Elbrus today for the first time. So we're up at 3,000 metres, it's the first cable car station and this is our first real view of Elbrus and I think it's going to be the nicest day today so take advantage of these views while we can. Everybody waiting to get on. So we're now up to 3-4 in the cable car and we've got the final pull by chairlift up to 3-7. No comment. Yes. <laughs> and there are the two summits. It's the west summit, the higher one on the left, and the east summit on the right. So here I am getting the final chairlift up to barrels at Bochki barrels at 3,700. Uh, twin summits up ahead of me, the west summit there on the left and the east summit slightly lower one on the right. Uh, if we're lucky we might be able to climb both but it depends on weather and how tired we are and things like that. Um, today's the best day. It's nice and clear today but there's going to be snow over the next couple of days so uh, we shall see but it's good anyway, good fun. It's the easy way to come up. And so we've arrived at Bochki, or Barrels, about 3,800, 3,738, and this is our sleeping accommodation. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And you can see why it's called Barrels. And here I am looking south from Bokshi um, to the um, Caucasus. We're on the northern fringes of the Caucasus here. Um, and that's the Back Sand Valley below us. We stayed down there for the last two nights. Um, and we went to a little acclimatisation hike yesterday um, up on that sort of ridge opposite us. Um, but couldn't see anything. It wasn't like this yesterday, it was really, really cloudy. And there goes the snow cat. And hopefully we'll be catching that a fair way up ourselves. We don't know quite how far yet, but it'll definitely save us some effort. Uh, there's another one of them down there waiting to go all the way up. And a bit higher up, just above the saddle ridge where um, the snowcat's just arriving, we can see figures on the slope, just below the, beneath the east summit. I don't know how far they're going up, um, but they're probably a good 1500 metres from the top. So we've just arrived and this afternoon we take a, a little acclimatisation hike, no snow cap this time, just up for a few hours to get acclimatised. So here we are on the glacier with Elbrus and we've come up for a short acclimatisation, having a quick rest. And the barrels are just below, just above the snow line there. Receive your message. Over. Receiving you. Give us your message, please. Diesel. Diesel. 
Okay. And it was a PUT eleven. Oh, okay. That is burnt. Yeah, somebody by read about that. Yeah. <laughs> so this hut here, uh, a few years ago, uh, somebody tipped over some diesel, some fuel, and it burnt to the ground. So they've raised a new one here. skiing and there's still a good snowcat trail so we can take the snowcat higher up. So this is very smooth volcanic rock. Um, Alborus is I believe a dormant volcano. There's the um, rest of the Caucasus beyond. <laughs> Meters. Uh, uh, there is Kirill and Sergi, and the summits, both summits, just about out of cloud, but cloud has now caught up with us. So um, it's a bit colder now, um, and there is cloud below us. So, as I say, we're at 4,700, so good acclimatisation, and we'll descend back to barrels at 3.8 after we've had a, a little break. And maybe you can explain why the bearing puts the transmitter which sent those calls snap in the middle of the Mario Australis. <laughs> 